beautiful peoples. This is Ken with Abundant Life Tarot and we are doing another tarot combos video. This time we are working with the Hoodoo Tarot. Um, I've been really enjoying this tarot deck quite a bit and I always like to see how can I best utilize it? What can I do to get the most juice out of my decks? And how I do that is by utilizing them together in readings. And we've got this Gorgeous tarot deck, the Hoodoo Tarot. Love the backs there. And I'm going to first pair it with the Divine Muses Oracle. So we'll go through that combo first. And then we're going to go through the combo of the um, Hoodoo Tarot with the liter Literary Witches. I'm gonna set the Literary Witches aside for a moment so we can just first take a look at how the Hoodoo Tarot, how does the Hoodoo Tarot and the Divine Muses interact and get along. So right off the bat, we can see that the palette, the color palette is nice. They go, they're complimentary there. And we'll just start looking. So we've got Wounded Healer for the Divine Muses and the Death Card Ancestors. Oh, look at that. Okay. Daughter of Knives, Cosmic Prince. Five of Coins, Muse of Hymns. Huh. Keeper of Time, Father Sims. So temperance traditionally, Keeper of Time. I think that's a gorgeous combination right there. Lunar, Masculine, Son of Knives. Queen of Roses, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant is the Hermit. Muse of Poetry, Mother of Knives, Muse of Art, oh that's perfect, this is a wonderful combination. Miss Ida is the High Priestess, and Muse of Art, look at that. Love that combination. Courting, Muse of Comedy. Psychic Portal, The Garden. Lion Heart, Ace of Knives. <laughs> Seven of Knives, interesting choice here. And, so, and Mystic Rapture. Group Mind, Mother of Baskets. I have her. Let's see, we have the big queen, the raven king. I'll do a few more of this deck. Three of knives, totem of earth.
six of sticks, great mother. Celestial unit, Union, the grandchildren. I believe that's the star traditionally. And I like that with the Celestial Union. Muse of Tragedy. A big house which is traditionally the tower and it's probably one of my favorite combinations of the cards that I've seen yet in this deck the spirit of home the eight of sticks we'll do a couple more muse of dance two of sticks Magical Child. Like Sin Eater, Seven of Baskets. John I love a salamander, always. Ancestors, eight of knives. Call upon your ancestors when you're feeling restricted and confused and scared and anxiety filled. Daughter of coins, retreat. Love that daughter, that page of coins. It's beautiful. And then finally, Dr. Buzzard, which is traditionally justice, and then perfect stranger. That just works. That goes, plays nicely together. Okay, so that was the Divine Muses, and we'll swap out the Divine Muses for Literary. Okay. Let's see how these do. Baskets. So we're Neil Hurston, which is so beautiful and apropos because she, I believe, and I don't know, I'm bad about this. I'm going to probably have to Google this later, but she wrote a book about hoodoo and I think she, you know, was very like, like as an author, she actually kind of pushed it, pushed it to the forefront. Um, with some of her written pieces, Zora Neale Hurston. And so the keyword here is story. And then we have two of baskets here. And I just love this combination together. Just adore it. I love two of baskets, which is traditionally two of cups, like your soulmate card. Um, it just oh, the beautiful story that intertwines once two people come together. You know, they have their own individual stories that they're telling and moving about, and then they come together and merge, and their stories become one. I just adore it. Oh, my goodness. Already loving the combo. All right, so we have Father of Baskets, Maria Sambina, healing. Okay. Yes. We have Mushroom and Big Mama, which is traditionally, um, oh my goodness, what is this? Is this the world? <laughs> mushroom. Interesting. 
It's an interesting combination. We could also play with this one. It says Sappho, Sappho, love, love. And that we can see that in Big Mama's loving face and her beautiful big platter of cornbread, her golden cornbread. Yum! Trying to not get a glare, babe. What's up? I, I forgot to put my sign on my door that I'm recording. <laughs> so people are coming in. So this is this is Gullah Jack, but it's traditionally the hanged man with the hedgehog. We would probably have to consult the guidebook for the hedgehog to see the correlation. Um, we could see there's um, Agatha Christie and Trickery, which I think works a bit better. white dress and three of baskets so three of baskets is traditionally three of cups and to me this definitely works i don't know why a dress feels like party time to me but it does <laughs> we have the six of baskets and joy harha bravery I'll we'll see if there's another card that's more fitting. Oh, look at this. Nine of sticks. She's got a little gun and is it the Bible in her hand? That's that works as well. <laughs> Elixir, ace of sticks. Loss, mother of sticks. Love that mother of sticks or Queen of Wands. Son of Coins in the house. Teacup. Ten of Baskets. Emily Dickinson, the Saul. Six of Coins. Emily Bronte, Fantasy, Five of Baskets. Snail, Queen, Seven of Coins. It may take you a while to get there, but you'll get there with hard work. So keep going, just keep going, keep doing the work. Apple, Two of Coins. Jamaica Kincaid history, father of coins. I love that. Th mind you, these these two decks right here, these are mass market produced decks, and I am impressed with this cardstock of both, to be honest with you. I mean, in the box and the the guidebooks and I mean, just impressed, to be honest. And of course, with an indie deck, this you can't go wrong with the Divine Muses. You really can't. Like, look at that Boundaries card. Isn't that gorgeous? True Will. Sorry, I just have to interject that. I mean, gorgeous decks here. So I just have to say, like, this is why they're in my collection. <laughs> um... Let's see, Anais, Anais Nin, the subconscious, and Ten of Coins. We'll do a few more. Daughter of Sticks and Wings. I like that a lot. Bees and Three of Sticks. Oh, I love that. That's a perfect little combination. Four and nine of coins. We'll see. Lion. There's a lot of these like little Normandy kind of cards. Solid. Okay, here we go. Nine of coins. Here we go. 
Nine of Coins, and Alejandra Pisnarznik, Solitude. Love that combination there. Took a moment to get there, though. Cat, Father of Knives. Sandra Snisneros, The Body. Son of Baskets. Love that. I actually met this author at a writer's conference a couple of years back. A few years back now, actually. Very nice lady, and I need to check out more of her works. We, I was interested, and I never actually followed up with reading a book. Shame on me. So hopefully that will change this year with my depth year. Uh, look, book, of course. Of course, spirit. You know, you see that? I talk about how I want to read uh, Sandra Snisnero's book. And then I'm like feeling shame, shame about not having read it, even though I expressed an interest in wanting to read it. And look what comes up. Two of Knives, time to make that choice, time to do that. This Two of Knives kind of freaks me out a little with the double eyes. Weird. It's a little freaky, but yeah. We'll do a couple more. Couple more combos. And then three of coins and lantern. We'll wrap it up. Y Yamiko Karahashi transformation with Aunt Carolyn. Is it the will? Like the will of fortune? And Shirley Jackson, Family, and Eight of Baskets. Love that. Fall and Ace of Coins. Look at that sweet potato pie. Yum. Four of Coins and Eel. I didn't even break shuffle. I should have, right? Um, but I didn't. I did not. Because I was like, nope, I just want to go with it and see that it's, it's just kind of, we'll see what, what happens. This from, this kind of feels very seven of wands to me. Not seven of wands, seven of cups. But this is nine of cups traditionally or nine of baskets, right? When you look at it, doesn't it look more seven than nine? But it has Anna Akhmatova, and the card is endurance. And that's traditionally what I think of when I think of nine of baskets or nine of, um, of cups or nine of wands or any nines, really. It's like enduring and going forward and, and pushing through and um, be, almost being near the end and, and enjoying where the progress even if it's a little stressful at times um because with the, all that um pleasure comes with some level of responsibility and so i like these two together but it is interesting to me this this feels very seven of baskets <laughs> mother of coins chicken I don't know why, but it works. I really like that. It's an interesting queen of pentacles, right? The Son of Sticks. And the Marab Marabai Devotion. The Magician, traditionally, which is the Black Herman. Toad. do this as the last one six of knives and virginia wolf vision
All right, guys. That's it for now for our tarot combinations. I just like to go through these, look at them, see what messages kind of hit when they do hit, and then, you know, see how I plan to utilize the decks in the future just by sitting here and, and going through some deck tarot and oracle combinations. All right, my dears. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Sending you so much love and many blessings. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.